What's a girl to do? Lying on my bed, staring into the pool. As you guys can see by the title, she's done it again. <laughs> Year I'm making like a I moved to this city kind of video, but you guys are probably wondering what made me decide to move to Boston I visited Boston in October of 2023 just to visit it and see what it's like and I instantly fell in love like immediately fell in love and I was like, oh my gosh This feels like a bit of Europe in America. I love it. I loved how accessible it was I just loved being able to see people every day whether I talk to them or not like on your way to work on your way to the grocery store Wherever it may be you're like a part of the human experience But I quickly very quickly realized that although I do love Charlotte. I love my community I need to change Every single day felt the exact same for me. I felt like I wasn't growing as a person. Like how can you grow if your life every day is the same and you're not meeting new people and exploring and being faced with like new challenges? Physically and mentally became kind of unhealthy. I feel like I wasn't leaving my couch. <laughs> if I'm being quite honest, like I literally would wake up roll out of bed, <laughs> go sit on my couch for eight hours a day, do my work, or even if I was like at my desk, whatever I was sitting, and then roll right back into bed when you know the date was done. And I was like, wow, this is super unhealthy. This is not a good cycle. I just realized for me personally in the lifestyle that I enjoy, I need to be in a city. And this is one of the things that Paris has taught me. I really appreciate being able to walk everywhere. I think having accessible and like walkable cities is so important i think i've said that in so many videos but to me it's freedom like i love being able to open my door and go anywhere i want without having a car technically you can walk like in charlotte there's just no sidewalks and like where are you going to dollar tree you know so yeah i just felt like i needed a change i wanted something different and i just wanted to push myself out of my comfort zone so i decided to move to boston <laughs> So leaving Charlotte was probably the hardest decision I've ever made because I was getting back into my comfort zone. The idea of leaving it was so much more scary and daunting, which I never thought mm -hmm. <laughs> I would be that person, but I had to almost convince myself to move even though I really wanted it. I was like, is this really what you want? Are you really gonna do this? Are you sure? Not even like convincing myself, I think kind of like talking to my family and my friends about it. That was the hardest part for me. Like I didn't wanna tell, um, anybody from church <laughs> was moving in like I didn't tell a lot of people I just kind of left because I just didn't want to have that conversation of like oh I'm moving again it just makes the decision final to be like hey guys I'm actually leaving I think packing <laughs> was so hard like packing up my entire life in two suitcases and deciding like you know what do I need to bring what don't I need to bring but I did it I'm here and I'm thriving so I'm very happy about it this is a new chapter in my life. It's the start of something new and I can totally see myself like living here for a while. I can even see myself raising kids here, but let's not get that far. Um, but yeah, I'm like genuinely so excited to just like start a new life, to meet new people, to make new friends. And I know all of that seems hard, but I feel like I don't know what it is and this could just be me, but when I'm in a new city, it it's almost easier for me to make new friends because it's like you don't have that bubble and comfort of your friends and your family around you. So it like pushes you to meet new people. I've definitely been like, you know, pushing myself to like <laughs> go on dates and like meet new people. Like I've, I've gone to a concert by myself, which like I'm really happy about. And like one thing I keep telling myself is like, if you're gonna wait for somebody to do something, you're gonna be waiting forever. So just do it by yourself. And I'm like truly learning to enjoy myself and enjoy my own company and make sure that I don't miss out on things because I'm like waiting for someone to do it. It's definitely a learning experience. Like I'm learning so much about myself and I think sometimes I thought like my happiness was dependent on where I was and like part of that is true but I think a part of it is like you need to be happy no matter where you are. For those of you who might have been feeling the same way where you just feel kind of stuck, um, whether it's like in your hometown or your routines and life in general, if you have the interest, I would say like go 
crazy, you know, go move to a new city. I feel like it's the best to cure. Um, but you know, obviously I know that's not realistic for everybody. So I would say like, try to really put yourself out there, whether that's like trying a new hobby, meeting new people, like going to events solo. There's no way you can change something if you don't change. If you're not doing something differently, how can you expect different results? And that's something that I'm learning very quickly. I'm really looking forward to see how I grow in these next few months. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and this little update into my life. If you guys are interested in moving to a new city or Boston in general, please keep on watching because I have so many vlogs coming. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Mm -hmm.